Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. <coughs> hey besties, it's Nat back again on the Nintendo Switch home screen and I am ecstatic to announce that we are finally starting my second island. Today's the day, I'm finally doing it. I am so excited to reveal the theme. Besties, I have not started a new island since March of 2020, which is almost three years ago, if you could believe it, if you could believe that time is a thing that exists. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's watching this video right now, because you are the entire reason that this is able to happen, that I was able to get a new Switch, that I was able to get a new copy of the game that's literally about to finish downloading. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am so excited to finally be able to have two islands going at once, and this is going to be the first one, and I am so excited to announce the theme. <gasps> Oh my god, it's downloaded. Oh my god, it's downloaded. This is so exciting. I completely forgot how the beginning of this game works. So we're just gonna open it and see what happens. I have a plan in mind of the type of map that I want. And I also really want oranges as my fruit. Not for any particular reason, um, but I just want oranges as my fruit. But we'll get more into that when we start the game. So let's just let's just open it up. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> this is so weird for me. I literally have not done this in almost three years. Are y'all excited to learn the theme? Someone guessed it. I'll 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 tell you when when I when I put the name of the island in and then you all know then you all know the theme also if you hear any like droning noise in the background of this video it's my heat coming on because boy is it cold <laughs> oh hello rats oh how I missed you good afternoon we're so excited to have you here let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure oh boy welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package check your application is this your first time applying for one of our packages yes it is I'm not moving. If, if you couldn't figure out by the fact that I literally bought a brand new console to make this island, I am not getting rid of Nautilus besties. It's, Nautilus is not going anywhere. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Okay, besties. Here we go. Are y'all ready for this? Shinji? Oh, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I feel like I'm not being very subtle at this point. And then a birthday. I googled this besties. I'm very, I'm very precise. Is June 6th. June 6th is my birthday. Me, Shinji. That's who you're listening to right now. Shinji, Shinji, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Shinji. <laughs> All right, besties. I wonder I wonder who this could be. I wonder who our, our protagonist, I wonder who it could be. It's a mystery to us all. What's a good hair for Shinji? The sleepy eyes are quite funny, I will say. Oh yeah, that's that's the hair. That's the hair, besties. That's the hair. Shinji has, I hate to say it, he has kind of sad eyes. I mean, he's he's kind of a sad, kid so definitely definitely this mouth though i feel i feel mean giving him the sleepy eyes i don't know there's something about it all these smiling faces don't work for shinji you know what this ain't half bad i think that i think that i may have slayed a little bit with this and now let's start talking about your new home so exciting if you want you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them you know what's crazy you know what's crazy about this island is that i think that it's going to hey, don't honk at me i think that <laughs> It's going to be summer all the time. So I think we're going to set it to be North America, but it's going to be summer all the time, I think. Personally, that's just my opinion. Sounds good to me. All right, time to choose a map. I've been thinking day in and day out about the layout for this island. And my only stipulation is that I need a resident services that's far out from the airport. That's not directly next to the airport, like my current island, which was a mistake. I'll be the first to admit. But honestly, this this corner, this bottom left corner looks kind of promising. So I'm going to I'm going to select this. I'm going to go I'm going to go bottom left. And if this island has oranges, then I'll keep it. If it doesn't, then we'll spin again because I just, I don't know, I just really want oranges. But we'll, we'll give it a try. Let's give it a try. This is really exciting. Oh, he has one more question for me. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Uh, something to kill time. Why not? Stop psychoanalyzing me, rat. All right, besties. <laughs> time for our flight. All right, I'm going to watch this this little movie one time and then afterwards we're just going to skip it because I don't have time for that. Um the first time that I made an island when I made Nautilus, I literally spent 3 hours straight resetting for the island that I wanted and depending on the luck that we have today, that could be what happens today. So, we don't have, we don't have time to watch the movie over and over again. Okay, besties, I'm going to watch this video exactly one time. Oh, this is so nostalgic. I remember when I I I had pre-ordered a copy of the game when it came out, but I could 
didn't get it like the second it came out obviously because it was a pre-order so i ended up <laughs> i ended up buying a digital download copy so i could have it the second it came out and then i ended up giving my other copy to a friend oh this is so cute i stayed up all night the night that it came out in march of 2020 and i reset for literally three hours to get nautilus the nautilus that you know and love today oh this is what a time and everyone in the world was playing and and people were doing the stock market uh the memories this is really cute i can't lie this is cute well that was fun um let's see let's see what the island's like let's see what the island's like would it be crazy if we got oranges in the first try i don't really care about the airport color anymore i'm not that person i was in uh, march of 2020 i've moved beyond that <gasps> oranges on the first try are you serious are you serious hold on a minute hold on wait no way no way are you kidding me besties we got a yellow airport we got hazel this is literally the best thing that has ever happened to me in my life are you joking this island is perfect all right i'm sold no more resetting we're not resetting we're not resetting i'm glad i watched that movie because we're not resetting look at that look at that look at that look at god look at god <laughs> besties are you serious i'm like i can't i'm i my brain is short circuiting right now are you seeing this okay we have to start we're here <laughs> besties were here now i know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home but i have one small request would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza oh my god are you serious oh my god axel is a cutie look at him look at his little wait hold on oh everyone else left wait look at look at his bangs this is are you kidding me we got hazel we got hazel and oranges on the first try we have our, our our resident services back here which is what i wanted oh my god look at all this beautiful space oh my god besties this is it and we have all this space on the other side as well like uh i forgot how big islands are when when there's nothing on them oh this is incredible this is incredible besties are you serious right now this is perfect all right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Hazel here? Oh my god. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Give me a tent, rat. Thank you, bestie. Off you go. Hope you find a great spot. Thank you. Oh my god, besties. The early game music. Oh, I missed this. Oh my god, Hazel! This is unreal. This is unreal. Like, I thought I was gonna be sitting here resetting, explaining the how the island is gonna be, and all of a sudden, here we are. Okay, I'm gonna put my tent right over here on the beach. Waterfront property for Shinji. Only the best for uh, my darling daughter, Shinji. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yay! Oh, I'm taking a screenshot of this. This is so exciting! All right, let's go get Hazel. That's my bestie right there. That's my best friend. Look at her little tail shake. I'm Hazel. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, Uni Wow. I'll find you a spot. I'm gonna help you. You're gonna pick out the perfect spot for me? You do that for someone you just met? You know, you're all right, Shinji. I agree. I, I, I think Shinji's all right, too. He's a good kid. Let's go place Hazel's tent right there. We can be neighbors or roommates. Think about that. I can't process the fact that we got oranges on the first go. We got the, the the map layout that I wanted. And we got Hazel, who is on my list of villagers. Besties, we'll get to the, the villagers, the the island, everything. We'll get that, we'll get to that in a minute, but oh my god, the luck of that. Wow, just wow. Hello, Axel Bestie. Where are you? There he is. Hey cutie. Yo, I'm Axel. You're Shinji, right? Nice to meet you, wonk. <laughs> You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll find you a spot. Shinji's got a lot of responsibility on this first day on the island. I don't know how well the actual Shinji could handle it, but our Shinji, I believe in him. Wonk. All right, let's all be neighbors together. Let's all be besties. Gonna make them equidistant. Be quite pleasing to me. Ah, uh, yes. With that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. Shinji, would you come see me for a moment? Oh, this really reminds me of Shinji's interactions with his father. Ah, Shinji, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. <laughs> I'll investigate the orange-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real oranges. I would hope so. Part of me is sad of how fast I'm zooming through this because I just, I love the, the early game music so much. Like the soft guitar, it's awesome. Oh, Oh my god, it's so good. I don't know how many of these fruits we're gonna need, but I'm just gonna pick a bunch of them. Ah, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging for tree branches? Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. Our next task is to round up something to snack on. They look like oranges, they smell like oranges, and they even taste like oranges. In fact, they're 100% without a doubt genuine oranges. So will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough oranges for everyone, haven't you? I have. <laughs> 
Oh, besties. <gasps> it's time to name the island. Now we're doing the official reveal, even though I'm guessing that a huge chunk of you have already figured out what it is. <laughs> Let's get started with the festivities. Light that fire. Yeah. Oh my God. Yay. I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into a um, slightly horrifying post-apocalyptic city. <laughs> Isn't that nice? This is Tokyo 3, besties. <laughs> Or it could be Guitar Burro. Think about that. <laughs> Shinji seems to have this enthusiasm in the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Tokyo 3. I think that's a great idea. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Tokyo 3. Oh my god, besties. That's right. If you couldn't already tell by the fact that I literally made Shinji, uh, this is an Evangelion-themed island. <laughs> well, Shinji, since you've proven yourself by naming Tokyo 3, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Tokyo 3. Oh boy, that's a, that's a lot of responsibility, Shinji. Can you handle that? Maybe. Perhaps. Might need to self-actualize first a little bit, but maybe. Shinji, could you please say a word to, or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Uh, you can count on me. I think that's something that Shinji would say, definitely. Oh yeah, whip out that juice, that orange juice. Then without further ado, a toast to Tokyo 3 and the happiness, <laughs> the happiness of its residents. Yup, definitely a, a great place to live. Really high quality of life in Tokyo 3. That's why the people love it. Cheers, everyone. Yay! Cheers to y'all! Cheers to y'all for making this happen. Take a take a sip of your drink. That's right, besties. It's true. I am making an Evangelion-themed island. For those of you who are unaware, Neon Genesis Evangelion is an anime from 1995 about a young man named Shinji Ikari who uh, gets in a robot and hijinks ensue. That's, uh, that's not a very good summary, but uh, it's okay. It's fine. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the source material, this island is going to be a loose adaptation of the show. It's going to have elements of the show here and there. But as the name Tokyo 3 would suggest, it is a post-apocalyptic city themed island. And I'm super excited to explore that theme. My current island is based off of like a, a cheery New England town. So I wanted to do something that was like completely different and off the wall and like new and exciting and something where I could like really stretch my creative muscles, I guess, as a builder. So yeah, that's the theme. Get into it. There are only going to be very light spoilers for the show. It's going to be that situation where like, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't, and that's okay. But I wanted it to be a theme that could be enjoyed by both fans and non-fans. So the fans will get it and the non-fans will enjoy it because uh, it's going to be fun and exciting and cool. I guess after we start the actual gameplay, I'll get a little bit more into the ideas that I have for builds on the island, but let's quickly talk to our villagers one more time before we go to bed. I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually get to live here, wonk. Yeah, we get to live in the post-apocalyptic Tokyo being attacked by giant monsters. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages, Yuniwao. Oh, that's so sweet. I actually have plans for Hazel, but we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll get to that in a minute. Ah, oh, Shinji, having a good time? Time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. You know what? I, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do that. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Sweet dream, Shinji. Thank you, rat. Oh, bestie, this is so exciting. Oh my God. I can't believe, I still can't believe we got the perfect island on the first go. Get into it. It's time to go to bed. Shinji spends a lot of time in bed just like staring up at the ceiling, contemplating his role in society and his existence. All right, I'm just gonna put the camping cot in the corner here. All right, time for bed, besties. Rest my head for a little while. Let's go for it. I'm getting sleepy. Oh, we get to talk to KK again. Oh, I, I miss the early game. Have any of you reset recently? What's it like when you, if, if you're someone who resets your game often, tell me what that's like. I, once again, I haven't done this in literally three years, so this is all like flashing back to me. <laughs> Looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. That's so true. Shinji honestly really needed to hear that and he was not hearing that from anyone around him. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. <laughs> That's something I don't think Shinji needs to be told at all. I think he's very aware of that. An island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Bye KK. I'm excited to make new friends. Oh, I can talk about the villagers. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself, with the Nook Mileage program, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 5,000 miles, cool, cool, cool. This is the part I was not looking forward to. I already know all of this stuff. This is not charming, this is annoying. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Tokyo 3. Me too. Oh my God. <laughs> Which one of the rats is that? Oh my God, my Nook Miles. 
My first mile. Wow. Well, besties, here we are. Uh, June 1st at 2 p.m. Oh God, not 2 p.m. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm wrapping things up right now. Not dealing with the 2 p.m. music. You will not, you will not catch me sitting here with you. You and I together listening to the 2 p.m. music. Oh, it's Hazel. Oh, let's talk, we'll talk about Hazel in a second. First of all, I want to acknowledge a couple of things. As I previously stated, this is an Evangelion themed island. And I would like to acknowledge that the first person who I saw to guess the theme correctly was Nick in the premiere chat for my mountain building video. So shout out to you, Nick, for guessing it first. Here are some other commenters who left comments guessing that it was Evangelion. Congrats to all of you. You have huge brains. But yeah, it's an Evangelion themed island. I have some ideas for the builds that I want to do. And you know, why not just wander around a little bit, get some tasks done, and we'll talk a little bit about the new island. Yo, Shinji, I'm getting a really good vibe from the tent plot you picked. Thanks for the hand. If you ever need anything, don't be shy, UniWow. Aw, Hazel. Let's, okay, let's talk about villagers let's talk about villagers for a second i came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella oh my god my first recipe i've never done a diy project before so you should ask tom nook to help you out let's go check out that demo and we'll talk we'll talk villagers we'll talk builds all right, let's learn how to do DIY from the rat and talk the new island. Let's talk characters really quickly. As you can see, our resident representative is Shinji Ikari, uh, the main character of Evangelion, my darling daughter. And so I had the idea that the main characters on the island, like the human characters, would be the kids. So Shinji, Asuka, Rei, and Kaoru. And I also considered having Misato be a player character like Shinji instead of being a villager because I couldn't find a good match for her amongst the available villagers in the game. A lot of the sort of like, I don't know, like the like the cool girl type of characters, a lot of them are blonde. So that doesn't really fit with Misato's whole vibe. But one of the villagers I was considering for Misato was Hazel. And I think because we got her as a starter, I might keep her around to be Misato. If 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 y'all think that that's a good idea. She, once again, she was one of the few where I was like, this could work. But the other ones, as you probably guessed by the villager hints that I gave previously, were pretty easy to do, I'm gonna be honest. Is he asking me to do something? Oh. I'm stupid. Okay, let's let's <laughs> let's go outside and get some and get some tree branches and I'll keep I'll keep yapping. As I mentioned before, the main four children characters I picture it being the human villagers. And then beyond that, oh no 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 not today not today not today. As I was saying, uh, I pictured the player characters being the four kids and then having the other villagers either be direct references to the show, like specific characters, or having them be more general references to the show. So specific characters that I knew are off the bat, right? First of all, Petri is literally Ritsuko Akagi. Like, let's not lie. That's literally her. Like, it's literally her. Then, of course, we have Hopper the Penguin, who is obviously Pen Pen. Like, once again, that one was easy. And then my third easy pick was Kyle the Wolf for uh, my darling husband, Kaji. Ooh, our first crafting project. This is exciting. But beyond that, I didn't really have a clear idea of like one-to-one -one matchups for villagers and characters on the show. So some other ones that I thought were close, I thought that Doc would be a pretty good fill-in for Kensuke. And as much as I hate to admit it, Genji is quite literally Toji. Like he is quite literally Toji. And I've really been grappling with this because I don't want to have Genji on another island. One, because I'd like to mix it up a little bit with the villagers. Two, because I already have a million male villagers on this island, so it's going to be a, a, a little of a, a little bit of a boys' club over here on Tokyo Three, as much as it is in the show. But also because y'all know how Genji is on my current island. He just brings a negative energy, and one that one that Toji, frankly, does not. But unfortunately, whether I want him to be or not, Genji is definitely the closest villager we have to Toji. So you know. I I've been struggling with that a little bit. Maybe y'all can give me some advice whether or not we should go the Genji Toji route. I also thought that, um, <laughs> It would be fun to have Gendo be Raymond. Uh, there are a couple other villagers that I considered to be Gendo, but I just think having a Gendo be Raymond would be funny. And you know how I love a jokey joke, besties. So I'm, I'm pretty dead set on having Raymond Animal Crossing on this island. I also thought that either Billy or Dobie would make a good Fuyutsuki. And I just, you know, I want to have an old man on the island. I think that that would be nice. And then finally, for the direct one-to-one -one character references, I thought that even though we have a player character representing Rey. I felt that Lolly would be a good stand-in for Rey or possibly for 
Shinji's mom. So I figured that we could invite Lolly to the island as well. That could be a good choice. And then beyond that, there are a couple of villagers to fill in the gaps per se. Obviously the robots, Ribot, Sprocket, and Cephalobot. I'm a little, I'm a little partial. I'm a little partial to Ribot because we are birthday twins and I do love him. I do love a, I do love a little frog. I also have both Kid Cat and Agent S written down. I considered Agent S for Misato uh, just because those characters are both, they're both like, like supposed to be like Sentai like superhero type characters. So I thought that they would, they would fit the island aesthetic pretty well. I also have Rattle written down as a villager. Why are there no fish in the river? Like, where are the fish? Do y'all see any fish around here? Cause I don't. Ooh, there's one. Oh my God, I don't have the tool wheel. I literally just pressed the button for the tool wheel. Besties, I'm not used to this. First successful catch, let's do it. I'm a master fisher woman, just watch. Actually, don't watch, don't look at that. That that did not happen. This will be my first catch of the game. Oh, there we go, besties, there we go. Those are the angling skills you've all come to know and love from me. Ooh, a butterfly fish. That's a good fish for your first fish. But yes, back to villagers. I considered having Rattle. I figured he fits the theme pretty well. I also considered having Lucky. Uh, once again, we already have a player character representing Ray, but I don't know, Lucky, he just fits the vibe and he's a cutie. So those are my ideas for villagers. Like I said, Petrie, Hopper, and Kyle are like definite yeses. And then the rest of them are still maybes. So we're gonna have a lot of fun villager hunting for this island. Did y'all know this is my first ever time doing a villager hunt? When I got the game, people didn't know that villager hunting was gonna be a thing. I ordered amiibos for pretty much all the villagers that I wanted and the other ones I got through trade. So I've never gone villager hunting before ever in this game. Not one time. I'm gonna be doing my first villager hunt ever <laughs> for this island. All right, let's go show him this fish. I found a creature. Shinji, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Go for it, bestie. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. This is the problem with today's society, besties. Everything is an app. Did you like that? That was the music that plays when they when they fight the the angels. Speaking of fighting angels, I also have some ideas for builds that I'm very excited about on this island. As you can imagine, since I did pick it as a theme. Actually, I think that the first build idea that sort of came to me, that sort of inspired me to pick this theme was when I was building my lake on my previous island because it reminds me of the lake surrounding Tokyo 3. And it reminds me of, ooh, a toy box because it reminded me of that image of like Kaoru in the middle of the lake standing on that statue. And I was like, oh my God, I, I have to make that. And of course I had inspiration from other community members members as well, like seeing people make different themes for their own islands and being <laughs> being like, I want to make that. I want my island to look like that. One of my biggest inspirations actually was uh, Cheesecake. They are incredible at crafting like post-apocalyptic overgrown city views and buildings. And I, I was just so inspired by that. As well as Arigo Alley. I plan on using their codes for my road codes. I'm very excited for that. They came out with a new one a while ago that perfectly fit the theme. And that was the point where it's like, okay, I have to make an Evangelion Island now. This is perfect. They're actually also working on like an overgrown city themed island right now. Uh, and I'll make sure to link everybody's social media below of people who I shout out as inspiration for this island. I, I was also inspired as I always am by the incredible Koku beans. Somehow their name got cut off while I was recording, but go follow them. Right now they're working on like a moon themed island and it is the coolest thing I've ever seen. They're so good at that like, like that like grungy city core, like futuristic sci-fi type of theme with lots of neon. I was also inspired by Tortuga Chronicles. Right now they are working on an Arctic outpost sort of themed island. And they have a lot of that like, that like rusted equipment, metal, like, like desolate vibe. I guess <laughs> that uh, was really inspiring to me. Um, but yeah, those are some of my inspirations from within the community. So beyond just the TV show itself, I also was inspired by other people in the community making islands with a similar theme and aesthetic. I was like, you know what? I want to try that. That seems that seems sick as hell. I want to give that a shot. Ooh, 
Ooh, red tulip bags. Blathers, is that you? Oh, besties. All right, besties, we're just taking care of business. Blathers is coming to town. I wanna get to at least the point where we're inviting villagers to Tokyo 3 before I close out this introductory video. Now, besties, we have just been given the Blathers tent, and I think that that is a great segue into the final thing I'd like to discuss in this video, which is build ideas. Now, I have several ideas for both interior and exterior builds on this island, and I've been racking my brain, making some key decisions about the island's layout that I'd like to sort of mull over with you now. The first order of business is the museum, because for those of you who are unaware, you are able to get to a three-star island with the museum in its tent-like state, and that's really great for certain themes of islands. And I've been thinking about whether or not I think that it would work for Tokyo 3. I have an idea of how I want to incorporate the more Western style buildings into this very futuristic urban city. I think that I am not going to attempt to keep the museum in the tent form. I think I am going to let it become a full museum and we are gonna sort of incorporate it into the, the landscape. Because one thing about the museum tent is that once you place it down, you can't move it until it's a building. So if we were to keep the museum as a tent, we'd have to decide where it goes right now. And I am not capable of making that decision. <laughs> I did plan this island quite a bit, but not that much. So we are gonna go and place the museum on the beach out of the way. And then I will talk a little bit about the builds I have planned for this island. There we go, that's the spot. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, Vesties, let's whip out the map and talk a little bit about builds. All right, there it is, Vesties, Tokyo 3. So as you can see, I did intentionally pick a resident services that was slightly off to the side. I learned my lesson, Vesties. I learned my lesson with my first island to not have the resident services literally kissing the airport. As I mentioned previously, I really wanted to have a big huge lake with a statue in the middle of it and I wanted that to be one of the main views on the island. So we're probably going to put that sort of where the river is coming up in the third quadrant and then have it go all the way to the back so it's like a really big huge view. I also want to decorate a train station. The train station is a very important location in the show as it is how Shinji enters and exits Tokyo 3 at various moments that are crucial to the plot and his character. So I'd like to try that as well as I just, I really wanna try using train tracks in a, on an island. So that's my little excuse. So we have the lake that's gonna be a big feature of the island as well as the resident services, which is off to the right. I imagined like a deteriorating collapsing city with the rest of Tokyo 3, the more modern parts, the parts that like raise up and down out of the ground, those parts sort of incorporated around it. So we're gonna have some modern buildings surrounded by some collapsing, less modern buildings. So I'm sort of gonna shove all of the, the in-game buildings into the bottom right-hand corner. So we're gonna have the resident services, the museum, the shops, all of that's gonna go down there. So it's out of the way and we can sort of have that all be one visually cohesive area. And then for the rest of the city, we're gonna build a bunch of fake buildings. We're gonna have lots of high high rises, lots of apartments. We're gonna try to have room for the school that the kids go to. We're gonna have lots of roads, lots of concrete. I have a vision of Misato's car being on a road and that being one of the first things you see when you step off of the airplane onto the island. There's also some other pivotal scenes that I wanna recreate on the island. So besides the lake build with the statue in the middle, I also really wanna incorporate the giant robot object into the island. Of course, we gotta use the giant robot. Like if I'm ever gonna have an opportunity to use a giant robot, this this is the island where we're going to be using it. So I really want to recreate the scene from one of the earlier episodes where they're fighting Romeo. Romeo? Ramiel? Romeo. When they're fighting Romeo and they're like on the cliff with the giant gun, I want to recreate that. <laughs> I want to have a view of a cliff with a robot on it that you can go look at and it's probably looking out over the lake. That's that's my vision in my mind. I also, we got to have, listen besties, we got to have Kaji's melons. We got to have his watermelons, okay? That's, that's a crucial part of this island. That's obviously going to be in Kyle's yard because Kyle is Kaji. He's literally Kaji. And I also thought of incorporating maybe like a grassy field. I know that I have one of those on my other island, but they're really fun to make. And I think it would be cool to recreate that scene where Shinji and Kensuke go camping. For the life of me, I cannot remember if that is from the original show or from the rebuild movies. I'm a 99% sure it's from the rebuild movies, but they like blend together in my, in my brain because my brain is made of spaghetti. But those are pretty much my ideas for exterior builds. I have a couple of other ideas. 
obviously I want to incorporate some sort of visual of Nerve headquarters, possibly incorporated into the lake build. That's like the headquarters for the operations of the Evangelion robot mechs that they send out to fight the giant monsters, which are the angels. And I might also recreate some of the more stylized locations from the show. Maybe we'll do like the grave site. I also want to do some interior builds, which I mentioned earlier. Obviously, we got to have Misato's apartment with Shinji's bedroom. I also really want to create the interior of the school as well, like create a classroom. I want to do the hospital room and I want to create the inside of Nerve headquarters. So we have a lot of things on our plate for Tokyo 3, but I am extremely excited to get going with this island. So now that we have placed down Blather's tent, I'm pretty sure that's all of the things that we need to do today and it's safe for me to time travel to the next day to get Blather's. So I think, you know what, let's do that. Let's do that right now. Can I sit here? Oh, I can. That's so exciting. Oh, that was fun. Besties, I literally just realized right now that we didn't have to time travel to avoid the 2 p.m. music because it's still the early game music. Like, w what did I say about my brain being spaghetti? Like, what did I, what did I just say? <laughs> That was not a joke. Oh, it's raining. Oh, the, there's an ambulance going by my house. <laughs> Everyone has their leaf umbrella. That's so cute. Oh, I want to make one. I feel left out. Oh, the morning announcements. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast. You know what? I really miss this. Like, no offense to Isabel, right? Love you, bestie. But they did you dirty in New Horizons. Like, what do you add? Like, what does Isabel add? You know, there's something really charming about these Tom Nook announcements. Muscular craftsman Rowan. What's up, mega builder? <laughs> All right, besties, as you can see, we finally have the museum, so I can start donating things to Blathers. We also need to really focus today on getting to 5,000 miles so we can start inviting villagers to the island because as I mentioned previously, that is my goal for this video because I want to be able to start villager hunting as soon as possible. So we're just going to run around the island and, you know, get stuff done. Oh my god, a bird. What's on the note board? Oh, I can do a, a post. Hold on a second. All right, there we go, and there, perfect. Wait, no, eyebrows first, eyebrows, eyebrows. Perfect, beautiful. And we got some miles, look at that. Oh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be at 5K in no time. Look at that, 2,000. Oh, I forgot to ask how you all have been doing. I've been doing quite well. Uh, my health was in a bit of a bad way the past couple of weeks. Uh, I had the flu, which is why my previous video, I sound like Kermit the Frog. This is what I normally sound like. Um, So normally, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna let it happen. I'm gonna let it happen. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like he looks more like Shinji now, to be honest. Like just the sad eyes, the sad expression. Anyways, my health was in a little bit of a bad way, which is why I sounded like Kermit the Frog in the previous video. But now I'm back. This is what I normally sound like, uh, annoying. So if you like this, feel free to subscribe and get, get more of this. I'm excited to get back into videos. I miss making videos. Every time I, I kept I kept fretting because I was like, oh my God, I don't feel well. And I don't want to sit at my desk and record. It sounds hard and like it'll hurt me. And I wasn't I wasn't a hundred percent wrong about that. But you know what? Now that I am back at my desk recording, um, I realize how much I miss I miss making videos and I miss posting, you know? Oh, I can open my phone. That's like another thing that gives you miles. Oh, there we go. Beautiful smartphone savant. Yeah, I'm excited to get back in it. I'm excited for the new year. I don't really do New Year's resolutions because like, hey, uh, why, are you, why are you not clapping for me? That's rude. Anyways, I don't really do New Year's resolutions, but I guess if any of y'all have a New Year's resolution, I would like to know what it is because I'm very nosy. That's something else you should know about me is I'm extremely nosy. What's up with your face? Did you get stung by a wasp? I'll show you how to make medicine. My mom taught me when I was little. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Hazel. It's almost like you're my mom or something. That's crazy. But yeah, let me know if there's anything you're looking forward to in the new year. Unfortunately, because of me getting sick, I had to push back the completion of Nautilus 1.0. So I imagine my dream address will go up sometime around my birthday, which is in early February. So be on the lookout for that. If you don't know what Nautilus is, it is my first island, the island that is the subject of literally every other video on this channel. I've had it since the game came out and I'm very proud of it. And I'm finally posting Oh my god, are you kidding me? Anyways, as I was saying, Nautilus is my day one island. I've had it since the game came out and I'm finally preparing to post a proper dream address. It is themed off of uh, an island off the coast of New England because that is where I grew up. So it's very nostalgic for me and I really enjoyed making it and I enjoy playing on it. And yeah, you should, I guess, check that out. I'll leave a playlist linked in the card or something of, of all the builds on Nautilus so far. I really do love the theme of that island and I'm really proud of it. But at the same time, I'm so excited to just be like doing something new and different. 
Ooh, let's learn how to make our medicine so we can stop looking like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's make some tools, besties. Let's get let's get going with some tools. Oh, thank God I'm normal again. Ooh, we can make a watering can so I can water my flowers even though it's raining. What else does this stupid rat want me to do? Oh, catch 10 fish, catch 10 bugs. Okay, I can do that, I can do that. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Ooh, we're over halfway there. Look at that. Oh, this is exciting. You know, I haven't actually talked to Blathers yet. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Maybe that's important. There, you see, with wood gathered from Tokyo 3, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be able to actually cross the river. Not that we like don't know what's over there, but you know, I'm just excited. You know, it's it's exciting. It's an exciting time. All right, besties. Here we go. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Ooh, our native flowers roses. I, okay. I was thinking of making Shinji have a different birthday so we can have mums as our native flower. But considering the fact that my current island is literally overrun with green mums, I think that we won't really have an issue with that. Ooh, look at how big this beach is. Oh my God. Oh my God, this dock. Our dock is so short. Look at this. That's actually very hilarious. Here we are at the back of the island. Very interesting. Can't get to the secret beach, but it's very close to this corner. I wonder if we can do anything interesting with that. Like make this one big beach area. Maybe that would be a good place to have like the empty fields that I was talking about earlier. It's so bizarre not having the tool wheel. I completely forgot what this game is like without it. We have our peninsula here. I don't have a skinny peninsula on my other island. So this is new for me. Please be a coelacanth, please, please, please. Oh my God, I think it is, I think it is. Besties. Oh, never mind. Oh wait, look at this tiny little beach. Wait, that's so funny. That's even smaller than the one on my other island. This is so small. <laughs> All right, we have less than a thousand to go. We're, we're making good progress here, besties. We're making good progress. Oh my God, the money spot. Besties, let's make some money right now. Let's bury it. I don't have enough, <laughs> I don't have money to bury 10,000 anyway. So we can make some money off of that and get some miles. Look at that. Oop, and my heat just came on. I didn't like how she was watching me. It made me uncomfortable. You know what else I miss? I miss these two little rats running around. I think that's very cute how they wander the island. A beautiful campfire. What else can we craft? We can make some log steaks. That could be fun. Wow, beautiful. Put some log steaks out here too. Really spruce up the place. Oh, look at that. A crucian carp. Look at me go. Catching fish like crazy. Catching bugs like crazy. Oh, that's that's not a fish. That's two bugs. Oh, 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 oh. No, come back. This is so relaxing. Like, have I, have I mentioned that I missed this? Have I mentioned that? Because I do. 10 bugs, there we go. Oh, we're 300 short. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. Let's put our dace out on the ground. Look at that, look at that, besties. Look at that. Exterior decorator, 300 miles. That's 5,000. Oh my God, I'm incredible. All right, Mr. Rat, I've repaid my debt. With that, your move-in fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Together, we were shaping this barren wasteland, I mean, pristine paradise into a lovely community. <laughs> that kind of is the MO of Tokyo 3, is it not? We've done it, besties, we've repaid our debt. Now it's time for phase two, initiating phase two. Now building a house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells, mm. Mmm, that's a big loan. So what do you think? Ready to build your home sweet home? Let's do it. I think I'm gonna go with black, but I'm just gonna check the rest of the colors. Yeah, we're definitely going with black. This entire city is gonna be like black and gray and everything. So I think that this is the best choice. Oh, there's my daily miles. You know how much I love my daily miles, besties. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff available right now. Oh, wait, I wanna buy this. I wanna buy this stuff. I wanna buy this. <laughs> buy Shinji a new outfit. Let's take one last picture with our tent while we still can. And Hazel's gonna be in the picture. Hazel, come back, bestie. Be in the photo. No? Okay. All right, well, that was fun. We took some photos of our beautiful tent to reminisce, but I think it's time to move on to day three. Day three. Oh, it's sunny again. Oh, my villagers are being cute. Oh, I love that for them. Oh, we get to see our new house. This is exciting. All right, Tom Nook, lay it on me, bestie. Oh my God, look at our house. Oh my God. Besties, this is a big sleigh. Look at me. A homeowner, Shinji. Oh, we got our new clothes. Oh, gorgeous and stunning. Look at us. Ooh, our flowers are growing. Ooh, we can water them. <gasps> it's really the simple joys in this game, you know? Ooh, a cutscene. 
So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. Yes. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. He is a child. <laughs> the two of you have been training under me for how many years now? How many years have they been alive? Like seven? Your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells, please. Mmm, that's interesting. Ooh, a Nook Miles ticket. Yes, bestie, this is what we've been waiting for. Oh my god. Wait, when do we get new villagers? What should I do? I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing and our needs are growing too. We need a lot of materials for a proper shop and we will of course offer compensation for your efforts. Let's do it, bestie. Let's do it. Let's build a shop. Okay, give me the list. First of all, I need to empty my pockets. Ha, knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part for Tokyo 3. Oh, thank you, Hazel. I appreciate that. Oh, I got an idea. If they got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. <gasps> a recipe? Oh, a material. A shovel. Ooh, a normal shovel. Ooh, thank you so much, Hazel. Oh my god. Slay. Thank you so much. See, that's why Hazel is my mom. She's just, uh, she's just there for me, you know? Okay, so my axe just broke. So maybe it's time to actually get the superior tools. I don't know how many miles I have, but I'm pretty sure I have enough to get that upgrade as well as possibly the tool ring, which I desperately need. Oh, we're just short, but we can get the tool ring. So I'm going to get that. Nice, nice, nice. Day four. Hello, besties. I have returned. As you can see, I have been stung by bees, but I also collected um, almost all of the materials that we need to make the shop, which is very exciting. And we only need five iron nuggets, which I think I can cheese out of a villager. Like I, I got a gift of five iron nuggets yesterday from Axel while I was collecting materials off camera. It was so relaxing, just like running around the island, just sitting in bed, playing the early game like I did when the game first came out. I don't know, it was really nostalgic. So I'm hoping that I can repeat that success so I don't have to time travel another day to get five more iron nuggets. Or we could possibly learn the recipe for the slingshot today and then we would be able to get iron nuggets from the sky. I'm quickly gonna, ooh, I'm gonna actually empty my pockets first. I'm quickly gonna run inside and see if Tom Nook has the recipe. I also have a ton of money because I kept hitting the rocks and getting the money rock. Ooh, ooh, I can buy a slingshot. I can buy a slingshot. Okay, that's perfect. I should also probably make myself some medicine because I look terrible. <laughs> First time buyer. Oh, that was my first purchase from the rats. Wasn't that wonderful? Oh, the early game is so fun. This is so fun. Also, as you can see, my villagers now have houses, which is very exciting for them. Happy for them for that. Should I just like wait for a balloon to come by? Is that my best bet? All right, well, we're waiting for a miracle to fall from the sky. Let's make some medicine for my eye. Okay, now we are less ugly. That's good. I still can't get over how short. Sure how short this dock is it's so funny <gasps> ooh, 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 besties this could be it what's in here oh okay well okay we do now know though that the balloons are going to be coming from this side of the island so if we just keep running up and down the beach eventually we will get a balloon that has what we want inside of it oh there's another balloon place your bets now Oh, a shell wand, you know? That's not what I wanted, but I'm not mad at that. A recipe, you can never be mad at a recipe you don't know. I gotta get used to the tool wheel again. I can't believe that I got unused to it. Who would have thought? Oh, besties, I cannot wait to flatten this island. It's gonna be so fun. Would y'all wanna see that on a stream? Would y'all wanna flatten this island with me on a stream? Cause like, I'd be down. That could be a fun stream. It would be so chill. Actually, speaking of streams though, that I have a special announcement at the end of this video. I, I feel like I should have mentioned that earlier. Stay tuned for that. That's important. Hopefully that'll come quite soon if we can get a balloon to give us what we want. Oh, there it is. It's green. There we go, besties. A steampunk dress. Well, that is not what I wanted. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, oh wow. Okay, Shinji. <laughs> I have a new outfit for you, bestie. Well, there's Shinji's new outfit. Anyways, let's continue. You know what, besties? I think I'm gonna take this off camera again and see how long it takes me to get a balloon with nuggets in it. And I'll check back in with you when we have our nuggets. A few moments later. All right, besties, we're back. It did not actually take me an hour to get my five nuggets. As you can see, we have 30 nuggets, so we're ready to build the shop. I, I just took a break after I found them and uh, did some editing, so there you go. But we're ready to build the shop, so let's go talk to the little rat and get this shop built. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he talks like me. Since we have all the materials we need and can start construction in the shop, we'd like you, a key figure in making this happen, to pick out the perfect location. Okay, I know just the spot. Right here. Perfect. 
Alright, besties, I think we now have the capability to invite villagers to the island. Hello? When do I get to invite villagers? Do I have to time travel to another day? Is that what has to happen? Hold on a minute, besties. Oh, we have to pay off our second loan. So... I'm gonna be right back, and the next time you see me, I will conveniently have 98,000 bells. Don't ask where they came from, just just go with it. 2,000 years later. Hello again, besties. I have returned once again, this time, with 98,000 bells, so we can pay off our house and actually invite villagers to Tokyo 3. I also somehow managed to get these shoes that perfectly match my outfit out of a balloon, and at this point, I feel like it's a bit of a conspiracy. But I mean, if it's a conspiracy to get Shinji in this outfit, then I'm all for it, besties. All right. <laughs> Why don't we head inside and pay the rat his money? Uh, pay from pockets. Full amount. Look at that, besties. I got all of that from fishing, because I'm a master fisherwoman, as we have discussed. Yes, I finished paying off my home load, yay! All right, now we can invite villagers to the island. About my home. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Okay, I think that that is everything that we can do today. So I am gonna travel to the next day and then I think we'll be able to invite villagers to the island. Ooh, our house is bigger, look at that. All right, rat, lay it on me. Hello, this is Tom Nook from Nook Inc. Yes, what? The getaway package, ooh, besties, it's happening, finally. All right, let's go talk to Nook. Either we're gonna have the bridge first or we're gonna have the villagers first. Either way, the villagers are coming. Ooh, a cutscene. For some time now, I've been advertising the Tokyo three getaway package. And what do you know? Out of the blue, we have three interested parties. That's great. Love to see, love to see that. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> but Shinji, here you are in my hour of need. Would you help me get these homes prepared, all three of them? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We've done it, Basti. We've done it. Ooh, okay. Okay. We're gonna, we have to craft the bridge first and then we can get the plots. So that is the last thing we have to do. I honestly kind of wish that you could still build bridges like this, like the, like the, the log bridge was still able to be built using crafting materials instead of through bells. Oh, wait a minute. That's not bad at all. Lock stakes. Oh, I have tons of wood. Okay, this will be easy. This will be easy. Okay, I already have a million clay, but we should have everything we need. Okay, we need four log stakes and we already have one. So we just need to make three more and then we're all set. There is one tiny issue, which is that if we do time travel to the next day to when the bridge is constructed, tomorrow is my birthday. So I don't know how that will interfere with the game play but we'll have to see all right i think we have what we need for the bridge yes we do oh my god that was so quick everything else took forever but that was so fast i already know exactly where i want to place this bridge oh hello oh a reaction oh she's teaching me joy that's so sweet honestly does misato not attempt to teach shinji joy she tries it whether or not she succeeds is uh subjective Aw, that's so sweet. These gestures will help me express my feelings. Oh, Shinji needs all the help he can get with that. Well, that was exciting. All right, Bestie, you are a little bit in the way, but I think we'll be all right. I'm gonna put a bridge right here so we can get to the shop super duper fast. Honestly, I'm just gonna put it down. Perfect. Let the land connect. Ah, Shinji, hello, hello. And tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for a bridge construction to finish if you want, or just ask me, what should I do whenever? <gasps> oh, I can do it right now. Besties, it's perfect. Do you want to start on the new homes now? Yes, yes, yes. Please take these three housing kits. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Okay, I checked online and I'm only supposed to place one at a time so I can hunt for villagers. That is what I have gathered. So that's what we're going to do. All right, and we're ready to place one down and get going. We should probably place them somewhere around resident services just because this area, obviously we're going to be renovating this area differently than the other areas. So I think it would be a good idea to place the plots over here. How about right here by the water? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Look at that, besties. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <gasps> We're getting a phone call. Hello, that you, Shinji? Well, besties, here we are. The first empty plot on Tokyo 3, the first villager I am ever going to hunt for. I am so excited to announce that I will be streaming my first ever villager hunt tomorrow, December 31st, 2022, a New Year's Eve villager hunting stream. We're gonna start at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so we're starting at noon, bright and early. I wanna, I wanna get this 
the hunt in early in the day. Um, but I am super excited for this. Like I said, this is my first ever villager hunt that I've ever done. And I am super excited about the villagers that we have lined up for the island. Um, we have a lot on our list. So there's a high probability that we'll find someone that we like tomorrow. But yeah, make sure to check out the live stream. I'll put a link for it uh, in the description, in the card at the end of this video. It'll probably like send you over there. You can put a reminder for when the stream goes live. So YouTube will alert you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment letting me know. It really helps me out. You can also subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time that I post or go live like I am tomorrow. I post Animal Crossing content here usually once or twice a week. I'm trying to get back into my twice a week upload schedule. I've also been playing Pokemon. We also live stream a lot of classic Animal Crossing. We've been playing City Folk for a while. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to stick around, subscribe, hit the bell, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord for more notifications of whenever I post. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of 2022 and I will see you all in 2023 for more Animal Crossing goodness and uh, enjoy Shinji's dress. Thank you all again for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow on the stream. And with that, I will say bye besties. I can't wave goodbye because Shinji doesn't know how. Wait a minute, maybe he does. Hold one. Wait, I do know how to wave goodbye. All right, there we go. Bye besties. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Wonk.